Special thanks to Patreon supporter Koya for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare 204 here bringing you another Minecraft World War II BAFTA build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Type 21 submarine U-boat. The Type 21 submarines were a class of German diesel electric electroboat, uh, which translates from German electric boat, submarines designed during the Second World War. 118 were completed with four being combat ready. During the war, only two were put into active service and went on patrols, but the other were not used in combat. They were the first submarines designed to operate primarily submerged rather than spend most of their time as service ships that could submerge for brief periods as a means to escape detection. They incorporated many batteries to include the time they could spend submerged to as much as several days and only needed to surface to periscope depth for recharging via snorkel. The design included many general improvements as well, much greater underwater speed by improved hull design, greatly improved diving times, power assisted torpedo reloading, and greatly improved crew accommodations. However, the design was also flawed in many ways, the submarines being mechanically unreliable and vulnerable to combat damage. The Type 21 submarines were also rushed into production before design work was complete, and the inexperienced facilities which constructed the boats were unable to meet necessary quality standards. After the war, several navies obtained Type 21s and operated them for decades in various roles, while large navies introduced new submarine designs based off of them. These include the Soviet uh, Whiskey, the US Tang, UK Porpoise, and the Swedish Hygiene classes, all based on the Type 21 design to some extent. So yeah, the Type 21 here, uh, overall pretty cool uh, little submarine and should be a fun one to add to our BAFTA build fleets. It's really our only uh, second ever World War II submarine, so of course coming from Germany, so a nice build to add to that kind of growing um, collection. And uh, overall, just a pretty cool looking little boat. Uh, should be a nice build to um, add for some of you that are maybe looking for um, some more U-boat designs to put in some dry docks or, uh, you know, to actually maybe do some scenes with it, firing torpedoes or something on other, some of our other BAFTA build ships. Uh, but anyways, um, let's go and dive in and take a look at the build. So, diving into it, um, it's a pretty simple build. I mean, what else can we say? It's a BAFTA build submarine, five times more than it would be in real life, so it's quite small. Uh, but you can see here we have the bow of it, uh, the stabilizers here, or the dive stabilizers at the front. Uh, obviously various detail for the deck. You have the conning tower here, which actually had two gun batteries on it uh, Which is kind of interesting and unique for a submarine um, the kind of batteries they were they almost look like You know turrets you would see on a um, ship, but they're really small and just unrealistically um, Buildable on this scale So I went ahead and left those off there for the sake of the design and as we work way back further we have obviously the um, back here with the engines and the rudder and all that fun stuff so overall pretty fun u-boat and should make a fun addition to your collections as a um, nice uh, type 21 basically I would say probably the pinnacle um, German Kriegsmarine submarine um, in use anyways uh, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial and um, get this uh, built alright guys so going ahead and getting started here now one thing I want to mention before we go and get started is the depth if you do want to have this submarine surfaced to basically build this surface, we have this layer of polished blackstone top slabs here, which is going to be on the basically the bottom of the submarine. We want to make sure that this right here is going to be basically a full block underwater. You can see the blue concrete here represent our water level, and the brick or these um, nether brick or polished blackstone uh, top slabs here representing that base there. And um, yeah, just one for the third for those of you that do not want to build submerged. Anyways, with those three top slabs in place, we're going to place down a dark oak top slab on the end there. So we have our three top slabs going back from this dark oak trap door, followed by four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Back like so. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Actually, let me grab a magic tool here to go ahead and get a better count here, and it is going to be eleven uh, top slabs back. And on the end here, we're just going to place down two dark oak trap doors. After that's done, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a polished blackstone wall on top of this trap door here, a gray stainless pane forward, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven um, gray concrete blocks back, a gray stained glass pane, and then a polished blackstone wall. Now, right here, basically, once you get to this point, you can go ahead and use a debug stick, which is available on Java, and basically using this command, slash give at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick, will give you this stick here that you can go ahead and change the properties of these blocks. Now, what we want to do here is if you are able to, we're going to go and change the properties so that our glass pane and wall do not connect. However, we can change the properties here of this wall so that it basically will be a full block here. 
or fill this full block space. So we're going to have it like that. And then this here, like so. So it creates a design that looks like so. We're going to then go to the side here of this great concrete block, place down a slab there to both sides, and a skeleton skull come off those slabs. And then going forward, we'll place down one, two, three green stained glass panes, followed by one, two, three polished blocks to walls, and one, two, three green stained glass panes. We're going to then place down a iron trap door and a stone pressure plate. Same thing over here iron trap door, stone pressure plate, our glass panes. Our three polished blocks on the walls and our three glass stained glass panes coming back like that. And with that all um, done, that's uh, basically what we have so far. And again, your water level is going to be sitting here at this layer. So if you, again, want to build this um, surfaced, that's where your water level is going to sit. At this point, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to take our iron trap doors and place down one, two, three iron trap doors on these three front blocks. We then want to place down a um, redstone repeater with the notches spread apart like so. A stone pressure plate and a narrow redstone repeater with the notches spread apart. We then want to place down a andesite wall, like so, followed by a stone block. On both sides of the stone block, we're going to place down a stone button, so one on both sides. Another andesite wall back, and another skeleton skull right here. We then want to place down a redstone up here, again, not just spread apart. And then a row of what is going to be four of stone pressure blades back. Now just note that if you did uh, use that debug stick trick here on the back, uh, that's Updating of the block space will change the properties back here, so you may need to change your blocks using the debug stick. Um, but again, it's not completely necessary. It's not that really that big of a deal um, if you leave it as is. So um, let's go and continue on. And the last things we need to do is to go ahead and basically build our periscope and all these top instruments on top of the client tower, which we're going to place on an end on top of the stone block, a iron bar on top of it, iron bar here, and then a skeleton skull on top of that iron bar, bar like so. And once we have that all done, that right there is going to basically conclude my tutorial for the Type 21 uh u-boat uh submarine hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put good use if you do use this build i do actually you guys give me proper credit for it. this be thank you from the building to my channel or this video if this does appear on social media sites as long as you guys give me proper credit for it, your free user favorite projects you guys are working on over on the build have fun and all that fun stuff I'm getting a big special thanks to Patreon supporter Koya for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gert204, and I'll see you guys next time.